Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What is next for the FIFA 23 market? That's the question we're going to try to answer today as we head into a Sunday content drop on the Path to Glory and a World Cup promo on FIFA 23. Could we get our World Cup Hero SBC that has been leaked? Could we get a mini release? We'll talk about all of that and especially what we learned from yesterday's content. There's a must-do SBC that we got yesterday and I want to talk to you guys about that. So all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with what could happen today. We're going to start by talking about the potential for a mini release, which is something that we usually get on Sundays in FIFA during a promo week. EA have said, and I didn't see this yesterday, but I wanted to make this known. EA have said there will be 32 Path to Glory player items that will level up with each step their country takes. One from each 32 nations is what EA says. Now, you guys may have seen some of the leaks that came out in the past couple of days before we got Team 1 actually released in packs. There are a lot of players that are leaked, and there's also a lot of overlap between players from the same nation. So, to answer the first question, are we going to get a mini release today? I want to look at the number of cards we have right now in the game to try to decipher that. Technically, right now, we have 16 Path to Glory items. We had 14 cards in packs, then we have Burkheis, and we have... Um, Chupo Moting in objectives, and then yesterday we had Paulinha dropped as an SBC. Of course, he is Portuguese, so that's the second Portuguese player, so I don't think he technically counts as one of those 32, and it does make me feel like we're going to get some overlap on some players that are going to be from the same nation. Foot Sheriff has also leaked at one point that there was going to be a Team 1 and a Team 2, but again, that may, it's interesting, right? Because EA said there's going to be 32 items, right? 32 Path to Glory player items that level up with each step their country takes, but we just had an overlap with Paulinha and Bernardo Silva being Portuguese. So, I'm a bit confused. Do we have a, a, a leak or a mini release today? We don't have a leak for it, at least yet. I would watch out for those leaks today heading into the Sunday content drop time, but the fact that we have 16 players, like a 17 different Path of Glories in the game right now, that makes me feel like that we might not get one because I could see if there's going to be a Team 2, EA doing the same thing next week with 14 cards in packs, one objective, one SBC, and that would round us out to our 32 or something along those lines. So, a little bit of confusion here because EA say we're having 32 items, which we already have 17 with yesterday's SBC. So that has me thinking that we maybe might not get a mini release, but who knows? Again, the leaks I'm talking about, Kim Min Jae, Zakaria, right? That was a leak that we have not seen a card dropped in the game. Some bigger names, Marco Royce and Kunku, Malikovic, Savage, Carrasco, Bruno Guimaraes. So many people were excited for this card, right? Pulisic, Lozano, Kyle Walker, we've already got players from some of these nations in team number one. We've already got a Brazilian, right? We've already got Vinny. We've already got an English player. We've got Grealish. So I don't know what's going on with those leaks. Again, it does feel like that's team two. I just don't know if any of those are coming today as a mini release. So that's a big question mark for me. Will that impact the market a lot though? Not really, right? It'll just bring a couple new cards into packs. Uh, the one thing I do want to talk though, this just reminded me um, you know, I want to talk about a Path to Glory card that has impacted a certain position on the market a lot, and one specific player in general. We're talking about Romelu Lukaku's Path to Glory item as a Syria striker, lengthy, right? Very physical, very meta Syria striker. Another striker that is in the Syria that has taken a huge hit in price because of this is the Jekko. So when I say that if we get a mini release today, it shouldn't impact the market that much. I mean, technically it could. This Ed and Jekko card before the Lukaku came out was 100,000 coins plus, And now he is now down like 30k. He was like 110. He's now 80,000 coins because of that Lukaku that has dropped. A brand new card, even though Lukaku technically has very similar stats. He's got two less pace and the same shooting as Jekko with better passing and better physical. It's a brand new card that people want to try out. So that's why a card like this Jekko dropped off so much because there's a new substitute item on the market. That's where I would see if there's a mini release, uh, the biggest potential for the market to be changed today in a specific area of whatever mini release player, if there is one, would get released. Now, today's content via SBCs is up in the air as well. Yesterday, we had a leak. We knew that Paulinho was going to be coming. Um, that was one of the cards that was dropped uh, via leak beforehand. I think the price here is not that great. It is an okay looking card and 
he's made some waves earlier on this year because he's actually been semi-meta. Um, even though he does not have a lot of pace, he's still usable. But medium high work rates, three star, four star, six foot three. It's just not a card that you would go run to do right away and get it done. Maybe you craft it with upgrade packs later on in the week or something like that. But a lot of downvotes on Footbin just because I think the price is a little bit high and the pace for most people isn't good enough. But today's SPC, you know, like we usually see on weekends, a lot of players, right? This, if there's a guess that I have for content today, this would be the focal point, right? This is Butch Sheriff's biggest leak, right? Because it got the cowboy hat on Robbie Keane. Pretty sick card, if I'm being honest. Look at those stats, right? That's pretty crazy. So, um, he, Foot Sheriff said this is an SBC that is coming. I think that would be a great SBC for EA to drop today. I thought it also could have been yesterday, but it wasn't. EA went with the Paulina um, and a pretty quiet day of content. Maybe they're going to crank it up a little bit today with this Robbie Keane. And again, for this card, it all depends on the price. I would be careful with strikers today. This card, I mean, I remember last year, with this card dropping on the game for the first time, and even right now, I still believe that Robbie Keane's regular hero card is a very, very usable Premier League striker. And, you know, you think of like Ronaldo, you think of some of the top Premier League strikers in the game. This guy is still in the name, in the category. Uh, one of the names is like a top three or a top five Prem striker in the game, especially with the hero links that he has. That SBC right there looks incredible. And if it's anywhere under like three to 400,000 coins, which would be really cheap, don't get me wrong, right? This card was like 220K before this whole weekend of supply and market crash. So I think that a Robbie Keane 88 is probably going to end up being 500K plus Prem tax. I mean, you have 90 dribbling uh, pace and shooting on a card. It's going to be pretty expensive. Uh, but that could be a big SBC today if it is really cheap. And if it comes out at a decent value, I do think that you could see some mid to higher tier strikers take a bit of a dip in price. Maybe you're like three to 700k uh, thousand coin strikers in there. Maybe Gold Ronaldo would take a hit. Maybe a Forlan, brand new World Cup hero card, or maybe a Forlan's older cards, right? Maybe a Full Air, uh, maybe, you know, a lot of these other striker cards that are in the game. If people see an SBC like this dropped, if it's craftable, has good packs back, stuff like that people would go ahead and try to craft it. So that's just something to keep an eye out for because I just think that that type of SBC has the potential to move the market a lot today. Now, also, one other piece of content that we could see today is kind of stemming from how I saw content dropped yesterday. And if you guys are on a lower budget, then really, really listen up here because we had two SBCs yesterday, the FIFA World Cup Challenge Ecuador and the FIFA World Cup Challenge Qatar. Now, two SBCs in the same day, this makes me feel like they're going to be dropping an SBC for every single nation, kind of like they're doing with Path to Glories. Every single nation's represented and in objectives as well, right? All these nations are represented for the World Cup. I think this is going to continue to happen over like every single day, at least for the first while. Maybe they'll spread them out and there won't be like two a day or even one per day, but I think it's going to happen pretty often. These SBCs are going to be our pack supply SBCs, right? We had two yesterday that was just a rare gold pack, uh, untradeable, and then the Ecuador challenge is for a two players pack. Yes, a two players pack, but it requires an Ecuador player. And if you take a look at the market, the cheapest Ecuador player, I believe at the moment is like just under a thousand coins or right around a thousand coins, 950 Insta for these cards, even including some of these like Conmebol, Libertadores and Sudamerica cards uh, for Ecuador. This to me, if you're on a lower budget is a huge wake up call that if you don't have your club stocked with some of these players from these uh, other nations, right? Not your France, not your Brazil, not your England, right? But maybe some of your other nations, you know, if you need a list of nations to go look at, you can go into objectives because they're all in here in the objectives tab with everything in uh, sorted by group, right? So maybe like some Serbian players, maybe Cameroon, maybe Ghana. You know, I know that some of these nations players are already up already, like Japan players, I believe, were like a thousand coins for some of these objectives. Uh, and in like the World Cup swaps, you know, you need some uh, Japanese players. So some of these player prices could be up a little bit already. But if we get an SBC like that, that requires a player from that specific nation, then I think you're going to see those players rise up on the market for sure. Now, you might be like, Nate, why didn't they require a Qatar player? Well, it's because Qatar uh, players aren't in foot. They're only as World Cup limited time items, which we know are not on the market. So for basically any other nation, just look for the potential nations that maybe have not that many 
cards in the game, I guess you could say, if you want to go and really do some deep dive research. The easiest thing to do is just stock some stock your club with maybe a couple bronzes, some silvers, a couple golds, um, rare and non-rare a piece. That way, especially with other objectives that could be coming out and other cards that you may need and SBCs that could require cards, you'll be set if you need anything like that. So that's a little bit of research and some... Uh, Prep preparedness that you could have going forward into future SBCs there. But I wanted to point that out from yesterday's content because I thought that was pretty good. Also from yesterday's content, we're going to go on to Footbin to look at this one because I've already completed the SBC. But the 75 plus World Cup players upgrade pack. And this is out for a week and it's repeatable every single day. It's super cheap to do. You turn in bronzes and one silver player. Make sure you do this SBC every single day day it is going to be in, like in, like you have to do it and I, I was gonna say imperative it's gonna be you know it's you need to do this SBC I'm trying to come up with fancy words and I got nothing but this SBC right here is gonna be such a big help as we're all chasing towards the end goal of collecting all of these limited World Cup player cards and if you're not if you don't know what I'm talking about, go over to this World Cup Qatar tab at the bottom of Ultimate Team and see that number over there on the left? 17 gathered World Cup players. We are all over the course of this whole season, 52 days left of it. We're trying to attain 750 or more. It says there's 15 levels on the left, all 15 reward levels, but right here I'm at level 10. I don't know if maybe more levels are going to show up after this, but uh, make sure to do these SPCs every single day because I think, I don't know how many of these players that EA is going to drop. I hope they drop a lot more than 750 so that we don't have to do every single SBC, but make sure you do those because that's going to be very, very nice to get that number up and to make sure you're getting the best rewards possible and collecting these red cards uh, over the course of this World Cup season. So I wanted to put that out there. I tweeted about that yesterday, but make sure you guys get that done every single day. It's really, really easy to do, um, and it's very necessary. Also, if that is going to drop every single day over the next couple of days, low-budget guys are going to be very happy with this again. Watch out for bronzes and silvers. Like BPM, I believe right now, would be absolutely fire with everything that's going on. Some of these Path to Glory cards, uh, I had a buddy text me today that he packed... Uh, I think it was a Path to Glory. What was the guy's name? Path to Glory Oviedo because his base card is a bronze. He was doing BPM and packed a PTG card worth 11,000 coins from a bronze pack. So do your BPM uh, and you know just list some of those cards up. It's probably pretty profitable right now at the moment anyway with how things are looking on the game. So make sure you watch out for that. Uh, and that's kind of the information I had via yesterday's content. Again, yesterday was a bit of a quiet day. So if we take a look at the market uh, and I'll talk about some of the flips that I made because of that, you had a lot of people that were expecting some craziness. And I even mentioned it in yesterday's video. I was like, hey, you guys know Saturdays have been some crazy days where we do see prices drop off a lot. But yesterday was not one of those Saturdays. It was a quiet Saturday. So what I did when I saw that it was a quiet Saturday is I went out and I bought a couple cards. First one was this Rudy Voller. Um, at I bought him at 931, I think I bought him at yeah, 931,000 coins, and then he rebounded very, very shortly after that. Like two hours later, he was back up to 1.02. I believe he's back under a million coins now. As we've got some low prices again, hey, that's looking pretty cheap right there. 950 uh, for Voller once again. I actually just picked up. Um, in this late Saturday night into Sunday time frame, I actually just picked up a Lucio World Cup Hero card. Picked it up for 1 million coins, basically on the dot. I think it was like 1.01, .01, and it's uh, not fresh either. So I might go try him out in a game, see how he is, of course. He's cracked. I haven't used Lu Lucio yet this year, but I'm sure he's cracked. Um, and then try to flip him for a little bit more heading into today. That's what I would look out for if you're doing the, the quick flips. Again, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, these PTG cards and the World Cup heroes are fantastic to be trading with day in and day out. Griezmann last night, uh, you could have bought him at the content drop. You know, he was like down at like 480 for a quick second. And then he actually rebounded to 550. This 520 is not actually correct. He was 550. Uh, but then, of course, you know, you've seen a lot of these cards continue to drop down. And if you're like, Nate, I'm not quick flipping. I just want to know when can I start to look to buy these for my team. These cards should drop off further today on Sunday, right? A little bit more pack supply. People get more weekend league rewards. The demand for weekend league is ending. I would expect to see some of these cards dropping off today, especially into the later nighttime time frame. So be careful as we get to Sunday night tonight. If you see some low prices, 
these cards will be great to flip into Monday. And again, that's a normal trend that we see on the market, but I really want to shout that out because I think it's a pretty good opportunity to make some coins. The team of the week as well is looking pretty good to invest in at the moment. I mean, you've got some fodder team of the week cards in here that are just really, really cheap. I mean, an 85 rated Bremer with 80 pace and 86 defending and 82 physical. I know he has bad dribbling and passing, but a Brazilian center back with those kind of stats at 12K is an in for him. Buy one, put it in the club. He'll probably be 17 to 20K in a couple weeks and you'll enjoy the profits, right? You know, I did pick up a Salah tonight at like 416 or something like that. I think that's pretty low compared to his first in form, which is a bit more rare because it's a really early team of the week. But I think this card is pretty cheap. And I think a lot of people are looking to see some rises on this team of the week. Of course, it always does depend um, on the, the content and the pack supply specifically that EA dropped. But I'm going to take a look at Kevin Trapp really fast because I want to get one of these in the club. 23K for an 88 rated in form to me is really good. Uh, I know he's got the 87 rated in form as well. So... I might have to work around that, which it's funny. The 88 rated inform, I think, is the same price, if not even a little bit cheaper than the 87. So I was trying to pick this up at 22K, so I might just wait until I can get one on a bid or maybe something like that. But uh, 22K for an 88 inform is really cheap. If you've got some coins, uh, you know, put one in the club, put one on the transfer list, and just, you know, sit there and wait for them to go up over time because we're going to get SBCs. And even though they're dropping Team of the Week packs every single week, Team of the Weeks of the higher rated variety are not going to get packed that often from an 80 plus team of the week. So I think that's a pretty good pickup there. Now, speaking of this SBC, it goes away today. Could this be refreshed today as well? Potentially, I guess you could say that could be part of our content. But, uh, you know, last week EA was on a weird schedule with dropping upgrade packs early and all that stuff. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to go on here. But that's another potential piece of content that could happen today on Sunday. So we talked about the path to glories. We have not talked about fodder yet. I know I mentioned it once, but I want to talk about fodder once again, because I think it's worth mentioning and worth speaking through that fodder is still really cheap. And you guys realize this 84 is at 2k a piece, get them on bid, especially if we get another pack supply SBC. And what I mean by a pack supply SBC is like, maybe they drop, you know, they dropped Ecuador and Qatar yesterday. Maybe today they drop like, I don't know, Tunisia and Japan or something or England and Japan and there's some tradable pack supply that hits the market it would be a fantastic time to get into some fodder because as we know fodder is usually low on the weekends and then it rises up during the week as EA drop SBCs like foot hero upgrades icon upgrades if they drop a Robbie Keane today that could move fodder a little bit if if it's a really really good value SBC but again as you guys know what really moves fodder the most are those gamble packs so I think it's a good idea to get stocked up though this weekend if you haven't done so already prices are still low kind of like they were on um, Friday so it's not like you you missed out on potential um, profits if you bought too early a lot of stuff is around the same uh, same price 27k for 89s that might be a little bit cheaper than what it was on Friday yeah they were like 28 went down to 26 but still prices on this stuff is really low try to get on bids if you get it 1k cheaper you're going to be chilling. And again, it's just the waiting game, right? After you buy these cards, you just wait. We just sit and wait. They go up when SBCs drop. And that's how you trade with SBC fodder. But we're in that time frame where it is low again. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on where I think the market is headed. If it's going to be a banger day today, uh, then, you know, you could see some prices falling into the evening as well. Usually Sunday nights, like I mentioned, are pretty good times for Picking up some cards to rise up into a Monday. The market is pretty healthy once again. Uh, people are not scared to buy cards, but with the insane amount of content that's out here, also at the same time, a lot of these cards haven't rebounded incredible amounts, right? Last night I was buying Cancelo at 48. I sold him at 55 today. He's back down to 52. Your gold cards could have some fluctuations today, but I wouldn't expect it to be that crazy um, of a rise today on Sunday just because... You know, I don't know, This the market at the moment seems to be healthy, but also it seems like with the insane content that we have had and with the weekend league getting closer to being the end for most people, and well, everybody, but most people have finished their games about by now, some of those fluctuation flips might be a little bit uh, harder to find. And again, that's why I really put the emphasis on watch the market tonight in packs, out of packs. There should be potential to flip cards uh, all around the game into tomorrow on 
Monday. Also, we had like a Poland kit yesterday. I love that. EA, if you're going to drop all these like retro kits and stuff, like let me deck out my ultimate team with the nation that I support in the World Cup. I'm a huge fan of that. That's a pretty freaking sick. And it was really cheap as well. Yeah, this Poland retro set. So right now, I mean, there's really nothing to complain about too much on this game. We didn't get any packs yesterday just from the normal uh, upgrade packs or the no normal promo packs that were refreshed. Um, but we'll see if EA have anything up their sleeve today on sunday i'm gonna flip that lucio i did buy a salah as well and a couple gold tail hernandez that's where my coins are at the moment but we're gonna see if we can make some coin profit into today on sunday with some of those flips and then see if ea have any surprises for us watch out for those strikers today if we get a robbie keen sbc that could be a part of the market that moves and we'll see if ea say anything about a mini release because again seems a bit unclear on what could happen there but if you enjoyed today's video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'm not gonna make this one 30 minutes that was way too long yesterday but it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace